Hello everyone, in this video we have a problem that says find the slope of the tangent line to the curve r is equal to 1 divided by theta at theta is equal to pi over 2. So if I rewrite this problem, then basically what it's asking is dy over dx, this is a slope, when theta is equal to pi over 2. So this is what this question is basically asking, right? So, and you may think, how do we find for dy over dx when we don't have anything in terms of x? Well, first, if you're already familiar with polar equations, then you should know that x is equal to r multiplied by cosine theta and y is equal to r times sine theta. So I basically have this memorized because I've used it for a long time, but if you are new to these two, then here's a way to memorize it. This is a horrible unit circle, but this is a unit circle, right? So if we have like this, then and this angle is theta, then this length is x, right? And this length is y. And so sine theta would be equal to, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, and so like this length is also y, right? So this length is y and it's like parallel. So the opposite, the length of the opposite was y divided by the hypotheses and the, hypo the length of the hypotheses is the longest length of this right triangle which is just the radius r. So this is sine theta and now if we solve for y then we would have y is equal to r multiplied by sine theta and then Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotheses. So adjacent is x divided by hypotheses is the radius r. If we solve for x, we have r times cosine theta. And so this is how I first used to memorize it. Okay, so now if we take the derivative of this equation, then we would have dx is equal to, well, we would have to use chain rule, right? But, oh wait. Yeah, we would have to use chain rule. So if we first multiply, I mean, take the derivative of, I'm so sorry, not chain rule, product rule. If we first take the derivative of r, we have one multiplied by cosine theta, and since we derived took the derivative in terms of r, we have to multiply dr. Then plus, r stays the same. But you know, I don't have enough room, so I'm not going to write it right here. Okay, so since we're solving for dy over dx, I'll write it right here. And dy, to find for dy, we just have to take the derivative of this, right? To take the derivative of this, we use product rule. Uh, we take the derivative of r first, that would give us sine theta multiplied by dr, plus the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta times r stays the same, times d theta, all divided by dx, which is equal to the derivative of r times cosine theta, and we also have to use practical for that. We take the derivative of r first, and that would give us 1 multiplied by cosine theta times dr. Add that with the derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta, r stays the same, and multiply it by d theta. Okay, so now we found dy over dx, and we're trying to find dy over dx when theta is equal to power 2. But then again, we still have 
are variables. So in order to, in order to get rid of those, we're going to use the curve, r is equal to 1 over theta. So if we have r is equal to 1 over theta, then if we take the derivative of this, that would give us dr, so find the slope of the function r, that would give us dr divided by d theta is equal to negative 1 over theta squared. Okay, hold on, I'm going to write this a little bit more down. Okay, there you go, now we have more space. Okay, so now we have dr divided by d theta is equal to negative 1 over theta squared, right? But here we just have dr and d theta. And so what we're going to do is divide top and bottom by dr. That would give us sine theta plus cosine theta. Oop, r can go in the front. Times d theta divided by dr. All divided by cosine theta subtracted by r times sine theta multiplied by d theta divided by dr. But since these two are a bit clumped together, I'll just draw a line between them so it doesn't conf it's not really confusing. Okay, and then we can but since we have d theta divided by dr instead of dr divided by d theta, we can take the reciprocal of this, which would be which would be negative theta to the power of two. Okay, and so we can just put that into d theta divided by dr sine theta plus, we have negative here, so that would turn into a negative. Negative theta squared times r times cosine theta all divided by cosine theta. We have negative again, so that would turn into a positive r times theta squared times sine theta. And then we're finding the slope of the tangent line at theta is equal to power 2, so if we put in theta is equal to power 2 into this, then we would have sine power 2 is 1 minus power 2 squared multiplied by, and also r is equal to 1 divided by theta, 1 over theta, and since theta is equal to power 2, that would just give us r as 2 over pi multiplied by cosine theta, I mean cosine power 2, which is 0. So we don't need this. All divided by cosine power 2, again, is 0, plus r, which, which is 1 divided by theta, and then since theta is equal to power 2, r is equal to 2 over pi multiplied by theta with theta squared, so that's power 2 squared, multiplied by sine power 2, which is 1. And so if we multiply 2 over pi multiplied by pi over 2 squared, we can cancel out this and the exponent, that's to the power of 2. And so this is equal to 1 divided by power 2, which is 2 over pi. And so that would be our slope of the tangent line to the curve r is equal to 1 over theta, theta is equal to power 2. Okay, so that is our answer for this video. I, if you have any questions, then uh, comment them in the comment section. And so, thank you for watching. Bye.